scientists, along with doctors and hairstylists, are the type of people you put a great amount of faith and trust in to get it right the first time. Many scientists have made incredible contributions to mankind, so naturally we hold them in the highest regard. But we forget that they are only human, and humans, even the smartest ones, make mistakes. But that's kind of the beauty of science. Some of our most important scientific breakthroughs came from big blunders. Besides, if they didn't get it wrong, we wouldn't be able to poke fun at science in an entertaining best of list like this one. Here are 10 things science got totally wrong. But first, let's pretend for a moment that you're a bull, we're the matador, and the red subscribe button is a cape. Now channel your inner bull and charge that cape with your finger. There, you've just successfully subscribed and we just nailed the perfect segue. On delay. Bulls charge at the color red. When you think of bullfighting, the image of an angry bull charging at a matador's red cape, the muleta, comes to mind. Science had us believing that bulls got angry when they saw red. However, we've since learned that bulls and other cattle are colorblind. So why does the bull charge at a red cape? It's likely the bull is irritated by the movement of the cape being waved and whipped around. If the cape was any other color, the bull would still charge at it. In fact, Mythbusters proved this theory using makeshift matadors holding a number of different color flags and found that bulls will charge whichever object is moving the most. On a more gruesome note, the reason the capes used in bullfighting are red is to mask the blood splatter as the bulls are being fended off. Hair and fingernails keep growing after death. There are many questions we have about what happens to us after we die. Where do we go? Will we come back as a housefly? And do our hair and fingernails really keep growing? Well, the first two you'll have to figure out on your own. But as far as the post-mortem primping issue, this is false. In order for the new hair and nail cells to grow, they need glucose and oxygen. When we die, the supply of both of these stops, and thus, so does the cycle of new cell production. However, after death, the skin shrinks, exposing the part of the nails and hair that were once under the skin, which makes them appear longer. Imagine nails and hair that did continue to grow? The idea of a zombie apocalypse wouldn't seem so bad. How can you be terrified of being chased by an animated corpse that looks like Cousin It? And the zombies would be constantly tripping over their hair and spirally fingernails? Plus, the walking dreads just doesn't have the same eerie ring to it. We only have five senses. From a very young age, we're taught that humans have five senses. Turns out, our grade school teachers in Sesame Street lied to us. Taste, touch, sight, hearing, and smell are just a handful of ways we sense things. Although the exact number of human senses is still under debate, we now know there are at least four additional commonly agreed senses. These include temperature, why you know better than to chug a cup of hot coffee, balance, the reason you can hold a yoga pose without falling flat on your face, well, some of us anyway, body sense, being able to walk around without staring at your feet, and pain, the handy signal that tells us to stop doing something because it hurts. Alcohol kills brain cells. If you're worried last night's booze bender cost you some precious brain cells, never fear. The idea that alcohol kills brain cells is actually false. So the good news is you don't have to give up your reigning title as beer pong champ just yet. However, even though alcohol doesn't destroy your brain cells per se, it can still mess with your head. Alcohol interferes with the way the brain sends messages, which explains why drunk people have slurred speech, are constantly falling over, and engage in acts of drunken stupidity in general. Alcohol abuse over a long period of time can have even more damaging effects. Not due to cell death, but it can harm the dendrites, which are the branch-like ends of the brain cells. These can lead to cognitive problems, brain damage, memory loss, and what were we talking about again? Sugar makes kids hyper. Many parents would swear that even the tiniest piece of cookie or hit from a juice box is enough to turn their tiny tots into Tasmanian devils, swirling around the room uncontrollably while shrieking and spitting. But research shows that sugar does not cause hyperactivity or change children's behavior. Instead, parents' misconceptions of the so-called sugar high influences the way they view their children's behavior. The likely cause of your kids bouncing off the walls at a birthday party or family get-together is just sheer excitement, and not the slice of cake or other sweets children commonly gorge on at these types of events. Swallowing gum takes seven years to digest. The warning that gum will live in your system for seven years if swallowed has stuck around for quite some time. Well, today we can thankfully pop this fictitious bubble. Although our stomachs can't digest gum entirely, it does in fact move through our digestive tract like normal and comes out the other end looking almost exactly like it did going in. Gum does tend to pass through slower than most food, but rest assured you won't be part hubba bubba for long. But just because you can swallow it doesn't mean you should make a habit of sending your gum down the poop chute. Gum can get entangled with other indigestibles and ball into a sticky mess that can create a blockage in your gastrointestinal tract that requires extraction. So do yourself a favor and spit. 
don't swallow. Water conducts electricity. I think by now we all know better than to go swimming during a lightning storm and not to take a bath with a plugged in toaster nearby. But the truth is, water doesn't actually conduct electricity. Shocking, right? It's the minerals and dirt in water that are the problem. Pure distilled water, which is water that is boiled, evaporated, and the vapor condensed into liquid, doesn't contain any impurities and therefore can't conduct electricity. Plain water, like from your tap, often has traces of minerals and dirt in it that help it conduct electricity. Seeing as distilled water is not something you encounter every day, like in your bathtub for instance, it's a good idea to keep electronics far away from any large bodies of water and stop making toast in the bathroom already. The tongue map. The tongue was once believed to be mapped into four different areas of taste, sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. But if you were to place salt on the tip of your tongue, you would quickly realize this science fact is bogus because the tongue actually tastes the same thing all over. And we have our mouth nipples to thank for that. Those tiny bumps on our tongues are called papillae, which translates into nipple, contains our taste buds, which sends messages to the brain about how something tastes. So it's actually our brain that works out which taste is which, not the tongue. Science has also recognized a fifth, umami or savory taste you get from soy sauce, tomatoes, and a variety of other foods high in glutamate. Spontaneous generation. We all know that to create life, living creatures either have to get it on with each other, sexual reproduction, or split themselves, asexual reproduction. But as recently as the 19th century, it was widely believed that some creatures could just spontaneously appear out of inorganic matter. People couldn't explain how maggots materialize out of rotting meat, or how oysters seem to appear in the sea. Thus, the spontaneous generation theory was born. Scientists even had recipes to create life. Want to make mice? Take some dirty rags, wrap them around wheat, put them in an open jar, and in 21 days, voila, vermin. This ridiculous theory was finally disproved by Louis Pasteur in 1859. Lightning never strikes twice. During an unfortunate time in your life, you may have found comfort in the saying, lightning never strikes twice, meaning something bad doesn't happen twice in the same way to the same person. Well, try telling that to Roy C. Sullivan, aka the human lightning conductor, the only man in the world to be struck by lightning seven times. So not only does lightning strike twice, but it can strike multiple times in the same spot. The Empire State Building, for instance, gets struck approximately 100 times a year. That's because lightning tends to be attracted to the tallest point in a particular area. Even though the chances of getting hit by lightning are slim, the odds are still four times higher than winning the lottery. Moral of the story, don't gamble with your money or your life. When there's a thunderstorm, just stay inside. It's inevitable that there will always be mistakes in science, but at the hub, We've come up with a proven formula to spontaneously generate amazing videos that cure boredom and teach you something cool about the world in the process. Prove our theory right by liking this video and subscribing. Thanks for watching.